Rice grower Danny Desitel of Letsworth recently acquired this 4,000 acre farm just south of Simsport. Desitel grows wheat, cotton, milo, and beans on this tract of land, but the clay soil here is best suited for rice. But along with the rice comes the persistent problem of red rice, something this place has been known for. Unfortunately, it, it got pretty badly infested with red rice. And uh, it's a big farm, and uh, it's, it's very hard to control with the cultural practices that we were accustomed to using, which is water planting rice. So Desitel, who's been farming for 27 years now, requested to be one of the few growers in the state to plant this new variety called Clearfield. The new technology was first researched by the LSU Ag Center in the early 1990s. What makes this variety so valuable is the characteristic of being naturally tolerant to a particular active ingredient that inhibits the growth of red rice. And the herbicide containing this ingredient is called NuPath, which is used in conjunction with both varieties of this new Clearfield rice. Uh, in test results that we saw, they both yield very well and uh, very good characteristics as far as standability, you know, resistance to lodging. Another distinct advantage of this new technology is that you can plant seed on days like today, 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. That's right, you're not planting the seed using airplanes, a conventional way. Of course, the wind would take all the seed to one side of your flooded pond. There's no water here, therefore allowing you to drill plant it. Uh, we like drilling, it's, uh, it's cheaper. Uh, we plant uh, a lot less seed per acre. Uh, normally when we're uh, water planting rice, we're using 130 to 150 pounds. And drilling here, we're down to using 70 pounds an acre and feel quite comfortable that we'll get a good stand with that. So following the planting, Desitel will come back with the herbicide new path. And then if a rain doesn't come, say, within a few days, he'll simply have to flush these fields in order to activate the new path herbicide. In other words, he won't have to flood the field the conventional way to inhibit the growth of the annoying red rice. Uh, let the rice emerge, and uh, when the rice gets about to the three to five leaf stage, we'll be coming back with another three ounces of new path and coming back with a permanent flood. And with one less flooding required, rice farmers don't have to spend so much money on pumping. And they can cut down on having to deal with the strict EPA regulations concerning tailwater. So if this rice system inhibits red rice growth without being genetically modified, by the way, has good yields and requires much less water, why then aren't more people planting it this year? Well enter the EPA. Until their final approval of the herbicide new path, Canada, a large importer of rice, is restricting the importation of Clearfield rice. But the EPA's approval is expected in late June or early July, hopefully. I'm taking a risk with it, but I'm glad to have it. The alternative is uh, so much trouble trying to keep this farm uh, free of red rice. So, Desitel and a handful of other rice farmers in Louisiana are growing a total of 3,200 acres this year, Desitel having the most at 1,000 acres. Neighboring states, Texas and Arkansas, also limited the sale of the rice to about 1,500 acres for each state. But if all goes as expected, next year these amounts will increase dramatically. Reporting from Avoyles Parish, I'm Bill Sherman.